Wow. Yeah, I don't even have the heat tray set up on this yet. Ah, right. Yeah, so there's so there's bonded. so there's no heating yet, but these are these are the cutouts yeah. for the heating. Yeah, it's not even bonded yet. So yeah. Despite the fact that we're supposed to be starting to cycle to a starting the big change over to the Rodwell two. Right. Uh, as of tomorrow, we have a lot to do. Oh, really? Yeah, you've got a lot of work to do. But, uh, the plumbers still haven't even gotten this all put together. Huh. And it's not their fault, they're going on just to schedule their toll. Yeah. yeah. So they have to get these things in here. And it takes 24 hours per joint, so they got to heat them. Glue. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's got it, it's got to be nice and hot for that glue to set and everything. Yeah. Let's see here. That was a hot water leak at one point. All oh, right. Spills right through. A lot of ice through here, so it's hanging on. Okay. I feel good. Uh, okay, hey, I'm Jeffrey Donfeld with Chuckles Letourneau, UT at the Edmonston Scott South Pole Station. Uh, you want to tell us where we are in general? We are 30 feet under the ice, a half mile down, uh, what we call the ice tunnels. All right. And what's beyond this outhouse door? Well, beyond the outhouse door <laughs> is Rodwell 3. What we have down here for water, uh, well, it's not like back home. We have rivers loose and wells. We have to drill our own. Okay. So, the second rod well, which has all our fresh water right now, is getting structurally too big. Fragile, it's going to collapse. Right. On top of that, we're running out of places for our outfall, so we have to transfer over. So, last year, we set up our hot pump. Okay. And we drilled 250 feet down. Wow. And a hot point, like hot water? Well, a hot point, it's a, uh, medical, uh, a metal cone yeah. with a heating element inside. Okay. We were running 420 volts through it. Uh, ah. And, uh, so it's electric. Yes. Gotcha. And it's supposed to melt straight down through it all. It's like a giant hot plumb bomb. Straight down here. Yep. Wow. And once we got to about 250 feet, we pulled that out and we started throwing seed water in. Hot water in a right. range of 150 to 200 degrees with a pump that was cycling it all the way through and out. And it's making this big fishbowl shape, uh, again, about 200 feet under the ice or so. And we're slowly filling it up with water from Rodwell too. And uh, the more we throw in there, the bigger it gets. Uh -huh. We want to recover as much water as possible because once that Rodwell goes down, anything that's in there is gone. Huh. So everything down here is what we shower, cook, do laundry with. <laughs> everything goes down there. Yep. Wow. Intense. And so we are. Where are we at on depth? Well, right here, uh, we're 181, but to the top of the ice. Yeah. I think we're sitting at 224 right now. Nice. We slope a little bit coming down. Cool. It's it's interesting to see this all the way back in these ice tunnels here. Got oh, yes. ice crystals growing just everywhere. Oh, and what what's the temperature down here? Negative 60 almost all year round. Oh my God. That's why. Everything freezes, <laughs> even our eyelashes. Yes. All right. And the boots. All right. Well, we will talk to you soon from the ice tunnels. Woo. <laughs> See light bulbs? Yeah. That's right. Yeah, the LEDs do that down here. You see, we got the LEDs, incandescents, and uh, fluorescents all yep. over the path. Wait, is that because they're too cold or what? Yes. Really? And yet they work fine in the ice tunnel. Huh. So how many gallons is each one of these tanks? Ten. Some are eight, some are ten. Huh. And Interesting. About 35 tanks total. There's a ton of fuel. Yeah. 